I really, truthfully, don't think that Kikuchi is going to come back, and I, I hope the same thing for Jerry Depoto, that he doesn't come back either. Why? Again, you know, he has not proven that he can build a team that consistently go out there and produce. Look at the three prospects that we are supposedly hyped up about. Kyle Lewis, he can't stay healthy. I get that, Robert, got, but they're winning in spite of those guys. Got, I know I know you're going to bring up Evan Kelnick, White and Kalnick. He can't hit. And then you got Evan White. He can't hit. But I, to say I'm that he can't. How he, come you guys come up with such of these grand ideas that the Mariners are on this path to the playoffs? Because they're winning without those guys doing anything, Robert. Come on. I mean, like, look, I, I get it. I get some of the hesitance with Depoto, but, like, over the last three years, they have been, in 2019, not a good product. Last year, a good product, all things considered. I mean, they did not have a lot of help, but they were basically beguiling their way to in that expanded playoffs, not being that far out of it at the very end of it. They were a watchable product last year, and this year they're good. I mean, what more do you want? I think John Morosi said that Ty France was one of the best signings in baseball. Yes. In the season. And Evan White, to me, with the injury that he had, you can't, you can't count his production this year. Uh, you can't? I've already pulled the ripcord on Evan White. He wasn't healthy from the start. Kyle Lewis's injury, too, is not something to hold against Jerry Depoto. Jared Kelnick's 21, and we heard Jerry say yesterday, he's like seven years younger than most major leaguers at this point in time. You know, a lot of these guys take a really long time to finally get to that major league level. you got to work through the minors, even if they're an early round a draft pick. He almost hit a home run last night. You know, like, it, it, we're look, you got to somewhat treat them with kid gloves at this point in time. But they're 10 games above 500, and who is a star on this team? Can you point to one player who is a baseball-wide star on this team in the rotation, in the bullpen, in the lineup, and they're still 10 games over 500? I, I don't see how anyone can be looking at the direction of this organization and say, oh, yeah, they're not going to do it. And look, yeah, Jerry DePoto isn't proven. But, I mean, don't you got to give him time to prove himself? They were a team in 2018 that were – saddled with a ridiculous payroll for a bunch of olds like Robinson Cano, and they had no farm system. Look where they're at now. I get the 20 years looking back in the past of, oh, my God, this is the worst. How are, have we not been back to the playoffs? But you got you to gotta set it aside right now. Seriously. I, I, I'm, I'm getting a little tired of it. And, Robert, I, I appreciate you calling in all the time. But, good God, they're, they're 10 games over 500. We've known from the beginning, and Jerry said from the beginning, some of the prospects will hit and some won't. It's too early to decide that. We'll see which ones do and which ones don't. But in the meantime, he's found so many diamond-in-the-rough kind of guys. Yes. That, like, Paul Seawald was just a journeyman that no one expected anything from when he came over. Chris Flexen was pitching in bleeping Korea last year. Abraham Toro? DePoto said he's been watching that guy for a couple of years. Maybe I'm the biggest Jerry DePoto stand out here, but... Why shouldn't I be, based off of what I've seen over the last two years? 